One of the really cool things about CircuitPython is how quick and easy it is to get a microcontroller set up running the CircuitPython firmware and now running your project code, including libraries, assets, and the code. So the first thing we do is we go to circuitpython.org, head to the downloads link right here, and then you can search for PyPortal. So I'll click here, and then over on the right, this download UF2 now, this nice big purple link. So I'll click that, and that's going to place that into my download folder in my finder. Then we can take that UF2 file and we can put it right onto this drive by double clicking the uh, reset button on it. And that will put us into bootloader mode. Once that goes into bootloader mode, we'll see a drive appear in my finder here called PyPortal boot. And I'm just gonna drag this UF2 file onto the PyPortal boot. What that's gonna do is flash the memory so that it now runs CircuitPython. So there it goes, it has already booted into CircuitPython and now it's really got no code or libraries or anything on there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to a project that I wanna use. So here is this really cool NeoPixel color picker that Katni created. And what you do is head to the code page. This is the new uh, project bundle link. So when I click on download project bundle, that's gonna download a zip file to my downloads folder. So I can uncompress that. What it uncompresses as is this folder with the name of the project. And inside of it is the libraries, the readme, the code.py, and a sample secrets.py. So all I need to do is just take these, put them onto the board. And now once those files are downloaded, it will restart and run whatever the code.py file is in there. There it goes, so that's it, it's launched the code. I've plugged in a little uh, strip of NeoPixels and it's a color picker. So that is one of the really powerful things about CircuitPython is how quick it is and how easy it is to go to that circuitpy.org site, find your board. We've got over 200 boards supported now, and not just from Adafruit, from makers all over the world. And we can get the firmware onto there, latest version if, if that's what you need of CircuitPython. And then if we're running a project from the Learn Guide, we can go to the project bundle, download the zip, and put all the pieces and parts that we need on there. So that is your CircuitPython Parsec. Okay, we haven't decided if I'm calling it that yet. But that's my tip of the week for CircuitPython.